But first, you need to grab an adult to help you. Here I am, an adult. I'm ready to help you. <laughs> okay, let's address the headless mom in the room. I made sure you could see Addie, forgot to make sure you could see me, and then after we made the cookies and got completely done, realized that you couldn't see my head at all. So, I'm sorry, guys. Carry on. Okay, Addie, these are the most simple Christmas cookies. Anybody can make. Many okay. years ago, in a land oh, far no. away. We started, no, no. I had a serious sweet craving for something sweet. So I called up my mom and I said, help, I don't want to go to the store, but I want something sweet. And she told me how to make this recipe. I don't know where she got the recipe, so I don't know who to give the credit to. Whoever invented this recipe out there, thank you. So, here is what you'll need. One cup of sugar, one cup of peanut butter, and one egg. That's it. Here are some additional items you will need. First, set your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, we've already done that, so that's ready to go. Yep. All right, next, Addie's gonna mix all the ingredients. We've got our peanut butter, our egg, and, and our, our sugar. Thanks. I think we should start with the peanut butter. Okay. You'll definitely have to use that scooper to get it out. Yes, peanut butter is very sticky. Sticky, yes, yeah. that's the word for it. Oh, it just all came out at once. Nice. Get all in right. there. Okay. Hand me the dirty dishes. Next, we're gonna do the eggs. And remember, all you need is one egg. Just one egg. This is literally the easiest recipe of all time. Which is a good thing. Yep. Okay, Addie's gonna mix that up. This stuff looks, the, the sugar looks like snow, for real. It looks like the eggs just disappeared. Oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> Peanut butter is really hard to mix up sometimes. Yes, it, it is. like a really thick sticky consistency cookie dough yeah it's gonna be pretty thick okay now we're gonna get our pan Lillian is not like most elves I've seen she's purple for some reason she has a purple hat we're gonna get our and she's also wearing lipstick and hat earrings cookie scoop and bake spray okay now there's a trick that I do sometimes because you use a cookie scoop, it's the best thing ever. So we recommend a cookie scoop. If you don't have a cookie scoop, you can use a spoon. Feel free to use a regular old spoon. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I like to spray a little baking spray in my cookie scoop because it helps the cookies come out a little bit better. Let Just a little bit. Shake it first. <laughs> that 
Let's okay. Go. Okay. All right. Yep. Set this to the side. Okay. So what we're gonna do is you just scoop out a glob of dough and put it on your parchment paper. Yes. A little bit. There you go. There you go. Get off. Okay. <laughs> now just glob it out there. Oh, see there? Now you just do that about 30 more times. I'm just kidding. It's probably not 30, but it might be like 15. 10? I don't know how many cookies this will make. We'll count them at the end and we'll see. Sure, sure. Yeah, I didn't cook that. Do, now remember, if you need help, ask your parent. I know. I heard you. <laughs> no, that's not enough. Santa's gonna be here by the time we get done making these cookies. Here we go. Just space them out a good little bit. Little good space little bit. apart. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish the cookie scoop. Now we're gonna put a Christmassy spin on our peanut butter cookies. So Addie's gonna look for some things in the back of the kitchen that we have that we can put on the cookies to help make them Christmassy. First, we have M&M's. Oh, M&M's. Nice choice. Jet also likes those. Yes, he does. Hershey's and Reese's. Her, I mean, Hershey's chocolate kisses and Reese's. Hershey kisses. Nice. Some of those Hershey kisses have cream inside. Oh, okay. Extra good. And Crumbing sprinkles. Sprinkles. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> So there's green little ones that look like sugar. There's the class, the classical lines, except with Christmas colors. Beads with circles with Christmas colors. Red sugary kind, circle, Christmas colored circles, and small Christmas colored circles. So you need that too, if you want candy. Yep. These are the perfect size. Just look around your kitchen and see what you get. This is nice. gonna make roughly 15 Mom. cookies. Have you you guessed it right. I know. Okay, there. so our cookies are like little balls. So I don't know why, but I've always used a fork and done it like this. Oh, my fork's sticky. And this to flatten out my cookie. Okay, that's the way I've always done it. Mom, I don't know why. You can go get another fork. For I think me. my mom showed me how to do that once. It makes them look like little checkerboards or something. Yeah. So just crisscross your cookie. They're they don't sticky. have to be perfect. They're sticky. They're going to taste good either way. Oh no, it's sticky. Yeah, I just sort of wiggle it out. Like that. Hold the parchment paper and lift up. Oh, that one looks good. These look like little ice cream scoops made out of cookie dough. They do, don't they? Stick. It's not the making of the cookie or the taste of the cookie that I like the most about making cookies. It's that I get to do it with my mom. Aw, that's sweet. Spending time together. Cheers. Clink. Okay. Hand me your fork. All right, now comes the fun part. Whatever you want to put on your cookie that's going to taste good with peanut butter. Don't do anything gross or weird. So open up these M&Ms. I want to use sprinkles first. Okay. Hmm. So this is what the cookies look like after you use your fork and squish them down. They don't have to be perfect. And it doesn't matter what they look like. It's the taste and who you're doing them with. True. And they're perfectly good like this. We usually just leave them like this, but because it's Christmas, we're getting a little extra. Mm -hmm. Extra. All right, so I'm gonna put some M&Ms. These are new, we haven't even used these. Mm -hmm. Which ones are you doing? I'm just gonna do a few of them on one. Oh, that's cute. Sprinkles. I love M&Ms. And look. Put a few circles. Oh, that's cute. All right, there's four M&M ones. I just 
stock one. Sprinkles down. Sprinkles are down. Only one though. A sprinkle, not sprinkles, a sprinkle is down. Uh huh. A second sprinkle. Ooh, the sugary ones are the good. Sugary. Oh yeah, I love sugary sprinkles. Me too. So here's a close-up look at our cookies before. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, you cook them in the preheated oven for eight to 10 minutes. Now, the key to a good cookie is that you take it out in time to where it's still nice and gooey and chewy, right? Do we want a crunchy, stiff cookie? No. No. We want a chewy, melt-in-your-mouth cookie. So probably at eight minutes, taking these bad boys out. So, eight to 10 minutes, 350 degrees. All right. <sighs> Safely open the oven. Good luck cookies, we believe in you. Be creamy. I wonder what the, I wonder what the Snickers look like when they come out because they have like car caramel and wafers. All right guys. Mm -hmm. What are you doing later? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's cold outside, so me and my friends can't really play right now. Cool. When is it going to be ready? I'm so bored. Maybe I can ask. 
scratch myself sometimes. Hmm. I wonder what clouds are made of. Why do why do you usually only see bats during the night? <gasps> Finally! Mom, the cookies are done! Okay. Good Finally, I've waited so long, more like 12 minutes, but I don't care. Remember, always get an adult to get the cookies out of the oven. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh my, Snickers is melting and wow. almost smelling out. Oh, look at those. Oh. Remember, never touch the cookies or the pan until they have had time to cool. You can only touch the pan if you're wearing oven mitts. Yes. None of the M&Ms or Hershey's even melted. But the Snickers, Snickers bar did. is really melted. The cookies are cool. Now I can eat one. Okay, we're gonna put our cookies on a plate. Can I eat? A Christmas plate. Let me do this side and you do that side. Like All right, it. here's the M&M one. See how pretty it turned out? You do eight and I do eight. No, okay, I'll do this half and you do that half. Isn't there six, 16? Cause two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah. Cause there's eight on each 15 side. 15 or 16 is what it, what it made. There's 16. Cause okay. there's eight on there's each the side. There's a Hershey Kiss one. There's, fit, there's, there's 16 because there's eight on each side. And also I don't think that plate Reese is. Reese cup. And eight plus eight equals 16. And also I don't think that, I, I don't think that plate's big enough for all of them. <laughs> Yeah, we might have to get another one. Kind of put some on top of it. I'm really excited about this one. Yeah. <gasps> I almost dropped it. It's oh, that's so gooey. Look at this Snickers cookie. It's super gooey. It melted and caramel just oozed out like a caramel volcano. Except not as epic as a volcano. Caramel's pretty epic. Do I just put them on top? Let me just get you another plate. Okay. Because I don't think they would do well stacked on top of each other. Oh no. It's either peanut butter or caramel. Is that? See? It's caramel. Caramel. Do you say caramel or do you say caramel? Caramel. Me too. That one's pretty. Sprinkles. Sugary sprinkles. That one is pretty. Get off of the spoon. Good job. Circles. Well, spheres. <laughs> spheres? What? That's what they're called. Good use of uh, Hershey's three-dimensional shape names. What? I can't call it a circle. These are circle. That's yes, a circle. they are. Go. They're so pretty. This one. This one. Here comes the crazy, ultimate. The crazy. The ultimate cookie. It's the ultimate goes in the middle. Yeah. It's the king cookie. This one's easy to pick up because it goes against the tray. Uh huh. I may not have room for the last one. The pan's not hot anymore, hold well, it is a little. You just go on top of the other one, I guess. Here, hold on, let me just scoot them around. There we go. Okay, let's just split one in half and try one. We we'll there. Which one should we try? And don't say the caramel one. Hmm. I think we should either just do a sprinkle or an M&M one. That one? Are you ready? Oh, it's so gooey. Okay. Are you ready for this? Good. Mmm. <laughs> I think they're really good. I know. They are really good. <laughs> You're being weird about it. You don't like it? I like it. I'm just I'm just laughing because you were like, no, you have to do it like this. Um You mm. do. <laughs> These are really good and super easy to make. I don't know where Addy went. <laughs> um, right here. Come on. We want to wish you guys a merry, merry Christmas. And a happy new year. A happy new year. And also, she didn't tell me to say that. I, I just know. randomly thought about it. It just worked out like that. And. A super good 2021. 2020 wasn't the best. Let's hope. Let's hope for the yep. best for 2021. 
2020 was pretty rough for a lot of people mm -hmm. and in this house we believe in prayer and we have been praying a lot this year so hey guys <laughs> this is boomer boomer say hi We're having peanut butter cookies and Boomer gets to have a peanut butter treat. You see your treat? He can't sit right now because... That's okay. What do you treat? Peanut butter treat. He's even shaped like a peanut. Mmm. Want it? I know you like these. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Yummy.